First at six, new details in a story the Target 12 investigators have been tracking. The number of drug cases now under scrutiny following an issue at a state lab has skyrocketed. I'm Shannon Heggie. I'm Mike Montecalvo. Last week, we told you that dozens of cocaine-related cases were being re-examined after a cross-examination of a lab test called them into question. The Attorney General's office tells us that number is actually in the hundreds. Target 12 investigator Tim White joins us with what else he's uncovered. Attorney General Peter Nerona is expressing frustration that the Department of Health did not loop in his office on this critical matter when it was discovered last fall. Behind this door, state scientists analyze thousands of pieces of drug evidence from criminal cases. Last fall, the Department of Health discovered a scientist reported cocaine in a lab sample that shouldn't have been there. On Friday, health officials said 52 felony cases were under scrutiny as a result. Yeah, we have a slightly different count. Attorney General Peter Nerona says DOH did not include hundreds of misdemeanor cases involving possession of a small amount of cocaine in their count. His office was only informed last week about the issue months after it was identified by DOH. If I have a concern, it's that I wish I'd been notified earlier. Because if I'd been notified earlier, you know, perhaps we would have known, you know, what this number was then, and I could have worked on this project then and notified defense counsel then. Nerona says his office is now reviewing 315 cases where someone was charged with a crime involving cocaine, including some with defendants currently behind bars. There are 12, as I understand it, that are at the ACI, not necessarily on a cocaine charge alone, but are out there, and obviously those are the ones that we are most concerned about. The Department of Health would not let our cameras into the drug lab and declined our request for an interview, but when asked why it took months to inform the AG, a spokesperson said in an email, we needed time to do a root cause analysis to understand what was causing the discrepancy. For now, Nerona said his office has let lawyers for 42 defendants in felony cases know there is an issue. His office is now working through the misdemeanor cases. We have an obligation to let defense counsel know whether or not there might be an issue in, this, in their case. I mean, we as prosecutors take very seriously our obligation uh, to play in a system that is fair and just. The Department of Health says the error was discovered during one of their regular quality assurance tests. Nerona tells me he is confident in the steps the DOH took to identify and fix the problem. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.